We had a client uh, in, um, in the software industry um, who were experiencing pain and not, not achieving the targets that they wanted. In fact, what they were doing were transitioning from a traditional on-premise license software organisation to a software as a service provider model. Um, and we're experiencing pain and getting staff to, to move along to that, particularly around the sales force um, in, in, in actually achieving the targets around that subscription model versus the on-premises sales. Uh, we were working with HR and you know, luckily working with an enlightened HR manager who actually had a seat at the table, was privy to this pain, um, was a part of the strategic discussions around how, well, how can we execute this transition uh, in a better manner. Um, and she realised well, you know, we're not focusing our workforce on the on the right things, or we're not sure if we are. Um, we obviously aren't because we're not achieving what we need to do. Um, using a system that she just brought into the organisation, which allowed her to uh, cascade those strategic goals. So specifically, that goal of moving the business to the software as a service model. She could set the goal at the top level. We want 80% of our revenue to be recurring from software as a service um, versus 60% at the moment. Um, set that goal at the high level and then cascade that goal down through all the business leaders, their managers, team leaders and the frontline staff. And the first area they really looked at was the sales teams across the organisation. Um, and with this solution, they could set up these goals, um, have the line of sight, have the specific tasks that relative to the role that the goal was set for and asked managers to meet at least at a minimum on a monthly basis but hopefully you know, ideally weekly or fortnightly to monitor progress with each of their team members against that goal. What that meant was the HR manager could then run a report, an analysis on a weekly, fortnightly, monthly basis and just see if those goals were being achieved, if there was traction across the organisation and it would really clearly highlight where there wasn't traction. Um, so she could try some training to move um, and gain a higher level of performance around that. If that didn't work, then they could look at other things around, well, do we actually have the right people to deliver on this strategy in that area? So it made this HR person a complete hero in her business because she could deliver that data to the CEO on a you know, regular basis rather than waiting to the end of the year um, to say, oops, you know, that area didn't achieve, that area didn't it didn't work out, these people, we really need to do something. So they could do it through the year, which meant that by the end of the year, they had achieved their targets. And in fact, you know, beyond that, what happened was that the share price um, increased considerably because they could get that kind of data out to the market. Um, investors picked up the shares and they were trading at you know, five times the level they really should have been at, at where the business was. And so the point is, I guess the analogy there is that, you know, rockets, when they go to the moon, or when they did go to the moon, never went directly there. Um, yes, they're on a trajectory when they took off. Um, if they left them on that trajectory, they would have missed the moon. So it needed constant tweaking, constant feedback, tweaking, much as this HR manager was able to do in the software organisation.